so that's how you install that and it does work fine now as far as uh, IRC goes I have Merc 616 so very fast you know chat is chat is chat you know how it works if you use chat at all you know what I'm talking about and I went to oldapps.com now if you go to the uh, home page of old apps one of the uh, selections right up on the home page here is Merck and I scroll down here as soon as the page loads, there we go, as the page loads up and there is 616 I can't believe it's 8 years old, yikes but it does work so uh, that just gives you an example of how long Merck has been around because the first version, I mean look at this 17 years ago. That's how old this software is. My God. Because uh, there are even versions of Merck that work in Windows for work groups, like Windows 3.1. Yeah, it actually does. So anyway, with all this stuff combined, okay, so we've got the Sea Monkey and the Thunderbird and the Miranda and the Office 2000 and some other crap that I got installed here and um, you can have Windows 95 as a, I, I won't say usable, I will say semi-usable um, operating environment. It's not secure whatsoever. Now, now I should say this in closing. Using older versions of software is great for compatibility reasons, but awful for security reasons. Because, uh, you know, there's a reason, like, you know, no one's using Firefox 2 and SeaMonkey 1 anymore because it does have security problems with it. We're all patched with the newest Firefox, what are they up to now? Firefox 11? And uh, the latest version 2.8 of SeaMonkey has all that security crap patched up. But you can't run the latest one on Windows 95, but you want to get it at least in usable condition. Anyway, my point is, is be careful. <laughs> don't do anything dumb you know don't go clicking a whole bunch of stuff you shouldn't be clicking because it is really easy to destroy Windows 95 and I mean it is too easy it will take a long time for you to put all this stuff together I mean we're, if you wanted to build this from scratch you're probably gonna have to dedicate like a whole Saturday to it is it worth it well that depends on you I uh, in this virtual Windows that I'm running, I had to kind of piece it together over time. I just found things that would work. I found the stuff that did work, the stuff that didn't work, and uh, you know, whenever I found something new, I would just go back into this uh, VMware session and put it in there. And eventually, I have what you see here. Now I have a couple other goodies in mind, which is like Windows 95 Plus which gives me desktop themes, which is why I have this awesome Windows 95 wallpaper. And uh, like I said, I had a copy of off, a legit, legit copy, of, and my uh, Plus copy was legit too. And even my Windows 95 copy is legit. But I had a legit copy of all this stuff, so I was able to install it all. I was thankful that the disks still worked. <laughs> so, and, uh, but the rest of it here, this was pretty much all, with well, the exception of Office, this was all just uh, downloads. Oh, and I mentioned View recently in a video. Oh yeah, works in 95, here it is. And I even have the plugin pack installed. It's the latest version of, oh, it crashed, no! Darn. Let's try that again. Oh, well, don't go to the About screen in View. <laughs> Let me see if I can like grab an image somewhere. Actually, you know what? I'll do it this way. I'll just grab this image right here. View image, save as desktop. Okay. Oops. And minimize, and we'll see if it launched. Oh, okay. So yeah. So as long as you don't go to the about page. <laughs> oh yeah, I can do all my stuff in here. That's cool. So that's something I discovered right as I was doing this video. So anyway, I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, if you're planning on doing a Windows 95 build, not the easiest thing in the world, but if you're determined enough you can do it, uh, it as a very, very final note, Windows 98 is definitely the better of the two, if for no other reason that you get USB 2 support 
and you you need that you know because otherwise the way to get files in here in 95 is you either have to uh, download them from the internet assuming you get the network connectivity to work or you actually have to use CDs yeah you have to go and burn CDs and then go to your computer Windows 95 computer put it in that way what a pain at least with Windows 98 with USB 2 you can just use a USB stick you know and do the old sneaker net style thing where you copy files on one bring it over to the uh, computer and copy them off that way doing it the compact disc method my god well, how annoying that would be so anyway that's it if you do uh, I'll try to answer any questions you have about it I'll, I'll try to monitor the comments on this video so anyway that's it take it easy